Hello, my name is Simon Francis. Uh, I am from Indian Brook, Nova Scotia. I'm going to be talking about uh, the Mi'kmaq Go To Person program. We're doing it's an online program now. It's from the Mi'kmaq Heritage Restoration Association um, by Delina Petipa. Now, it's um, it's fun. Uh, Curtis is the t instructor, Curtis Michael, and um, we got to do online videos. That we we're giving um, uh, a lesson. And we got to do it online, that video, and we got to put it on the, this website. It's a secret website. There's 23 people from Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, um, New Brunswick, Skadden, uh, PEI, who's selected for this program. It's a go-to program. And I'm what can consider this, uh, the right person for this program because a lot of people come up to me for Mi'kmaq uh, words, Mi'kmaq words, because I was around it. I grew up with it. Uh, my mother, my father, my grandfather was all fluid, and um, they really influenced me when I was young. I, I learned it from when I was three years old, right up to I was, oh, I took care of my mother till she passed away, till she's 82. I was still learning, and it's still a learning process today. I grab my, um, my, my dictionaries, and I'm looking at them every night, and I was like, wow, I didn't know that. I said, and that's just the extension of words, and it's things, um, well, I said, oh, oh, I knew that. I was like, I, but I didn't know how it was spelled. And simple things like now, I don't have to run to the books now when I want to stop and write on, and make them online. I got it all in my mind. I knew how to spell it out. Like, Gwe, Emsit Nogama, hello, all my relations, and well, the exit book, how, how good, good morning, and stuff like that, little things. You know, just something to say, make in the morning. I won't say nothing in English until I write something in Mi'kmaq every morning. But that's, that's me. But now this lady even come up, she goes, you inspire me because you write your language and that inspires me to learn my language. And she's 50-something years old and I'm 54. And I was like, wow. And there's people like from my mother's hometown and they're in their 60s and they do not know their language. It surprised me. And I'm in only 54, and I know a lot more because I was exposed to it as a younger person. And taking a course, and I took a course in 2017 for a six-month course with Curtis, and it really opened my eyes. I was like, wow, he said one word. I was like, wow. I said, I never heard this word since I was three years old. And I was like, and it just opened a new world to me. And I was like, it, it was just a new world, a whole new world, language. But it was always there in the back of my mind, and I just kind of put it on hold. But nowadays, I got people coming up. Uh, we got Word of the Day. They play, I play Word of the Day at our band office with a secretary, a part time secretary. I'll go in there, well, the exit book, or Minty Medalla, ain't how well they will look. And we'll play, um, hello, how you doing? I'm doing fine, you know. It's a nice day, we'll say that. Or we play Word of the Day. And she goes, what's the word of your day? And I now look outside. Messy a walk. It's misty or, or elneg, foggy, or, or well, he kiss go, kiss sunny. And she goes, wow. And now she's, now when I go in there, I find she's, she's speaking Mi'kmaq to me. I was like, and they, this is my dreams, to keep our language going. And I find my dreams are coming true now. And it's surprising. It's eye-opening for people and this girl is in almost her 60s, and she's starting to learn now. And they told me, and people told me, wow, Sai, your mother, you learned good from your mother. I said, yeah, thank you. I said, I was surprised. That really surprised me. I actually learned. It was, it was her plan of life, I think, to keep me, keep the language going. And I still have my nephew and his niece, my niece, his, his daughter come in. Uncle Mukas, in the mouth this, and... Medalla and Uncle Muxus, hello, how you doing, Uncle, and things like that. And they're speaking their met language, and I was like, wow, and they're learning it from me. Or when I leave, I said, um, what's the word today? Namaltasit. They said, what's that mean? See you all later. Things, little things like that, but they're learning. But I'll throw a word out there, throw a new word out there every time I get them. And we call it word today. And it's just games we play with the family, and they love it. But things like that, we need more education, more programs things like Curtis to six month programs but commitment and space that's one thing we do not have you got to be committed right from the beginning I mean I would love to I mean I was committed right from the beginning to this program I was there every week 
you know, it was eye-opening. I mean, because I didn't forget the language. I thought I forgot it, but I didn't. Like, Curtis has this uh, Pictionary Games for adults. That's excellent. I mean, even teenagers. It's got, like, uh, a picture of a uh, bar of soap in a bed, a uh, sleeping bed. And that means soap bed, which means hungover or things, simple things like that. And and just words that they, in games. And it makes it fun. Get them out of the classroom. Get them in the home. Don't get them in the classroom, especially with adults. They do not like the classroom. Make it a home environment. Coffee's there. Make a little lunch. Make a, uh, Indian bread. Invite everybody in. Make it family settings. But you got to get them out of the classroom for learning because that's not no place to learn for adults. That's what I found. We had a hard time with that. In our program right now, it seems to be from anywhere in the mid-30s to 60s, 70s all age, right around, and our go-to language person, and the Mi'kmaq go-to language person, is, and it's all everybody. Everybody's learning at the same process, but it's everybody's at different points. Like, I'm at a different point than these guys, because it's just all natural to me, I find. Even me and Curtis were talking the other day, he goes, you're pretty fast at these lessons. I said, I said it's all natural. He goes, boom, 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 I can shoot it right out, and I record it, and put it online, and now I'm done. I don't have to worry about it. And, wait till the next lesson come out and, but we need more programs more programs like that we have a secret group and um, Curtis would come up and he, he'll show a video word video word video and we gotta pronounce these words then he'll now he's getting the omit endings and we gotta do our homework and we gotta find the right endings and add it like um, or SB S, SB or SB, that's hot, I'm hot, and certain things like it, and little things that SB add a I, T, or E, N, or N to different endings, make it add a different language, different word, different endings. Now we're getting things like that more. He's adding homework now. I was like, but it's fun, it's all fun. And he goes, You're getting faster, but I love it, that's why. You gotta love it. You gotta be committed to do it. Like the like button, love button, everybody comments, Wow, you're doing good on these videos. I mean, geez. The process is good. I love it because oh, your technique is beautiful. We need more of this. I love it. I love to see your technique in a classroom. And it's simple things like that. Encouragement. And every, we have everybody has a chance to put their own videos like we have till February 5th for Lesson 6, but I would put mine on. But because I'm like that, I'll just get it done like that so I don't have to worry about it. But, um, it the success uh, I find it's in different levels. Everybody has their struggles, and some of them find it easy. But like one lady last comment, she goes, "Oh, I had a little hard time with this lesson, but I need more practice." That's all, cause she's not exposed to it. She's in town. She's in town of Turo. Like I'm exposed to it. I'm always online talking Curtis. Curtis is word online chatting in Mi'kmaq, or I like, use a phone call away or. I go to my brothers and he's talking to Mi'kmaq and we're comparing from the uh, Miklish now. How we, what they're speaking, uh, what they're speaking up there now is Miklish. What I learned was the old way. My grandfather was born in 1886 and I learned his way and my father's way and my mother's way. And, they're, and that was the old way. Like for saying no, nowadays they go moho. But I was taught Mokwe, like my grandfather. That's the old way, but either way is acceptable nowadays. But we know one is Miklish, automatic. But it's still all, it's changing. But I don't like to change. I, I, I'm still stuck on the original way. We're exposing um, techniques, techniques and um, more like pronunciation, different pronunciations. You've got to get the uh, blends. Once you get the blends in, the like the T, the T sounds like a D, the K sounds like a G, and things like that. It's no problem. You can pronounce any word. You can read it. It's once you get the blends and how the words sound, the pr pronunciation, you could, it's easy to read. And now I just, when I do my homework, I write it down, then I got to expand it, I expand it, I do it all on one page, and I make my video. And Kurt, even we were talking to him, he goes, man, he goes, you're fast. He goes, you do these videos, you know, just like nothing. I said, wow, I love it. Because you got to love what you're doing. And 
It's just come natural. And I am told it's all natural. It gives me something to look forward to. Um, people even, I'm the go-to person. I actually am the go-to person. I got messages, uh, a lady was doing a painting. She wanted her to learn a word. I get a message. So I said, no, I'll send a message out and send the word out. Next thing you know, she sends me a painting with the word on it. I was like, wow. I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful. Our language is beautiful, even when it's painted on a picture. And it, it means things. And, and I was like, wow. And so we, a buddy was walking his dog, and I said, what's your dog's name? He goes, Misty. I said, oh, Missy Walk. He goes, what's that mean? I said, that's Miss, Misty. And make about. He goes, that's beautiful. He, Can you write that and make them out for me? So I said, come on in. So I wrote it on a piece of paper. He goes, I'm going to take that to my wife. And so he goes, that's all they called their dog now, Missy Walk. And make them out. Because he goes, my wife goes, Missy Walk. And boy, she comes running now. I was talking to him. He goes, I said, you still call her that? Missy Walk? He goes, yeah. That's most probably about six months now. It's simple things like that. It makes me happy. Even um, my niece, she goes, when I'm talking now in Mi'kmaq, she goes, I remember that, uncle. I remember that going to school, uncle. I said, I, I said wow. I said, I said, I said, will you remember your chance? And I was exposed to chance, Mi'kmaq chance when I was young. I was like, and I'm just like, getting to learn and learn them now. And it, it opens my eyes. It's, I never heard these since I was like four or five years old. And it's a, it's a new beginning. Our language is a high priority. I mean, I want to see that go in places. Uh, people, 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 when you uh, call in public, Gwe, Medao Lane, hello, how you doing? I like to see places like that in public. Now they're doing that to band office. There's one that uh, part-time secretary, she always right on. She's on it, man. And she talks me about to me all it's right off. And I was like, wow. I was like, it's, you know. It's finally going places, our language, and she, they're learning up there. Just, uh, that's just from Minnesota, and she whispers in my ear, and she's, Kai, Kai, what's up? Um, I've got to hear, i got to learn. She wanted to, she, I was at uh, New Year's, um, New Year's uh, um, powwow, and she whispers in my ear, uh, how do you say, um, I want to wish you uh, um, Happy New Year's? I said, okay. And so it's, it's Edaway Busa um, Bonane. I said, when? She goes, what did you say? I said, I'd like to wish you Happy New Year's, everybody. She said, wow. She goes, I just learned it. I never knew that. And I said, it's simple things like that, how you learn. Ask questions. Ask questions. And I learned that from my grandfather when I was six years old. When, what that word, I, what I just said. Our culture bead in my mother was a big beater. Oh, she was good with her hands. I mean, yeah. She did the beadwork like rose, non-fabric, right, straight, loom, everything. Uh, she worked with her hands. She did everything. She cooked. She was, uh, she made prize pies. Everybody loved her pies. Oh, my God. She was the best. And she, she learned, um, she taught people, uh, the little girls how to dance, Mi'kmaq dance, because she was brought up around that. She had, she made, they made their own dresses, leather dresses, leather gowns, and leather, everything, hell of leather. They got together at groups every week, my mom, my mom and the girls, the little girls, and we still got pictures of them. And all the little girls in their leather dresses, and they, she took them out to dance for, for people. And they had fun. And, you know, it was part of their growing up, and they remember that today. They said, we had fun with your mom, so, I mean, she taught us a lot. I was like, wow, you remembered all that? I said, I like yeah, she made these leather and leather um, dresses for us and took us everywhere to dance. And I said, yeah, I know. I know she did that. I didn't think you guys remember, though. And this is maybe 20, 30 years later, 20, 35 years later. And they're still remembering this. I would love it to see it more, more programs, even in the, like, um, off the reserve. There's like, um, we have one native lady who goes off to reserve in the local school. She maybe once or twice a week. But I like to see programs offered every day, a Mi'kmaq program in our local schools, like the on reserve programs. We have it every day that they're exposed to the language in there, right from the Head Start, kindergarten, preschool, right from grade 12, one, right to kindergarten, right to grade 12, they're exposed to the language on the reserve. I like to see this after a serve. Now they're maybe they're lucky to be exposed to uh, 
once once a week, once a month. I like to be exposed more. We need more exposure for our language and our culture. Cause I learned uh, in the seventies going to elementary, and I still remember my my lessons from a lady coming in, and that was it's, it was stuck right to me. What what I learned, and it helped me. Lady coming in, elder coming in from the from our local res, coming to our schools off the reserve. Cause I I did the day school too, and I did the uh, off res school, but um, I learned a lot from her when she came in, and it's, I still remember that day.